all highway driving, doubles and triples generally behave well. However, even under the best circumstances, the rear trailer sometimes has a tendency to wander. Although this may be unnerving for motorists, normal maneuvering is not the real problem. The real problem becomes readily apparent when the driver must make an unanticipated quick maneuver, the kind he'll make when something unexpected happens on the road in front of him. Researchers have been studying this issue for several years. Based on their work, accurate predictions of vehicle behavior can now be made using computers. Predicted behavior can be readily evaluated using computer-generated graphics as seen here. This tendency for the rear trailer to snake or sway in quick, evasive maneuvers can lead to excessive rear trailer motions and thus to rollover. This behavior has been compared to cracking the whip. Researchers call it rearward amplification. That is, the rear trailers each amplify the steering motion made by the driver. Studies have shown that rearward amplification is a contributing factor in a significant number of accidents involving multi-trailer rigs. The engineering analyses and computer predictions of rearward amplification have been confirmed by proving grounds tests. Test procedures have been developed to accurately measure a vehicle's tendency toward rearward amplification. This test course was developed as a simple but effective means of measuring rearward amplification response. The course simulates an evasive maneuver. The vehicle is required to move over 4 feet 10 inches, less than half of a lane width. But this must be accomplished in only 210 feet. At 55 miles per hour, the tractor completes this maneuver in two and a half seconds. When the multiple trailer does this maneuver, the rear trailer responds by overshooting the lane. By placing a limit on the amount of overshoot, rearward amplification can be limited. Here, our evasive maneuver is performed with just a single trailer a rather mild maneuver for this vehicle. Here it is performed with two trailers, as we've seen before. Some swaying of the second trailer is apparent. When a third trailer is added and the same maneuver is attempted, the third trailer's steering input comes from the second trailer, whose motions are already amplified. The third trailer amplifies the motion still more, and the result can be very severe. In this maneuver, the third trailer would roll over if it wasn't for the outrigger. The so-called converter dolly is an important part of the vehicle in determining rearward amplification performance. Just as the rear of the tractor supports the first trailer, the dolly supports the front of the second or third trailer. Today's standard dolly, the A dolly, has a single point drawbar that connects to the towing trailer at a pental hitch. The hardware is simple and convenient. However, the freely pivoting hitch helps create the rearward amplification problem. The C dolly has two rigid drawbars which both connect to the rear of the lead trailer. This arrangement eliminates steer rotation at this hitch point and substantially adds to the stability of the vehicle. To make up for the steering action lost by adding the second drawbar, the wheels of the C dolly are allowed to steer, but with some constraint. The dolly axle is equipped with a special mechanism to provide enough steering control for stability, but enough freedom for efficient operation. Analysis shows that the C dolly concept does reduce rearward amplification. When our test track maneuver is repeated with a triple trailer rig using C dollies, the performance improvement is dramatic. 